guys and welcome back to another video so in this video i am just going to do a sm very small q a i'm heading off to the gym soon so i just want to get this in that's why i have no makeup on i just want it to be very relaxed and i don't wear makeup to the gym only some mascara so if you hear some background noise zendaya is downstairs and nine out of ten she's going to run upstairs any moment now but yeah let's just jump straight into the q a and yeah all right so chelsea asked who is my biggest fitness inspiration and honestly i don't have one here she comes now Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Go like this. Pout. <laughs> no, look at the camera. Go like this. Ready? So, my biggest inspiration. Hi. So, my. <laughs> I'm just going to let her go in the background because she won't leave me alone. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have, really have a fitness one person that i really look up to yeah, yeah, if yeah. i think about it it would probably be my trainer at the moment she is literally like body goals like i want her body <laughs> so <laughs> auntie chelsea auntie chelsea yeah auntie chelsea is my trainer Tina. and we work out we go whoa Ooh. she um educates me she trains me super hard and that's what i like oopsie Ooh. someone jumped off the bed <laughs> peekaboo <laughs> <laughs> um and that's what i like in a trainer i like to train but also educate myself in supplements my body everything i'm really 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 interested in type that type of stuff <laughs> <laughs> When I look up for different workouts, I will literally just oh, Instagram like <laughs> shoulder workouts and go from there. But yeah, if I have to pick someone, it would definitely be my trainer, Auntie Chelsea. Auntie Chelsea. Auntie Chelsea. Auntie Chelsea. Auntie Chelsea. <laughs> so Kirsten asked, what is the best thing about being a mum? I think lately, the past few weeks, I've realized Zendaya is literally... Zendaya. Zendaya is... <laughs> Zendaya is literally my twin. Like, her personality, her sass, her attitude, it's all me. And I freaking hate it. Uh, her, attitude, her attitude is crazy, but... Just watching her grow up and learn since we put her into daycare twice, two days a week, she has evolved as a person like crazy. She just amazes me about how smart she is. Like she knows her colors. What color is your shirt? Black. Black. Good girl. And her counting and her, she knows her animals. What does a cow do? A moo. Good job. <laughs> She's just so smart and she literally makes me so proud. You make mommy so proud <laughs> with how smart she is. And I think that since having the miscarriage, I appreciate her so much more. Oh my God, I'm going to get emotional. I appreciate her so much more. And our time together. <laughs> Are you laughing? Are you laughing? Being a mum is literally the most hardest thing <coughs> someone can go through. And those mums you see on Instagram that literally make motherhood look so easy are lying to you because it's so hard. It is days that this child here can test me more than anyone in the world. She can push my buttons like crazy and she's only two but she is just so cute and i love her more than anything in the world and holy crap i didn't want to cry oh. yep. love you yep, yep. love you yep. love you love you 
You are so cute. And Kirsten also asked, what did you do for work before Zendaya and what's your dream holiday destination? So I've just always worked in retail. I actually worked at a pretty large uh, retail uh, chain. Hey. <laughs> Um, when I met Mussy hey. and hey. I met Zendaya's godmother at that job and I do miss it because I do miss Viola which is her auntie but other than that I hate retail <laughs> it's literally painful and people think it's so easy you but you are you taking on everyone's you mental state when you by that shh shh and by that I mean if someone's having a bad day and they come into your store, they tend to take it out on you. We've had really horrible customers. Uh, we've had racial incidents. We've had Hi. we've had thieves. We've had, but we've also had like really great customers. And it's your job to make that customer happy and make their day and make them want to return back to the store. But retail is super hard and it is mentally draining and it got to a point where i had to <laughs> i had to leave <laughs> just for numerous reasons <laughs> but when you are taking shit from someone in <laughs> the company then you just and no one does anything about it even though you complain to people high up and they do shit all it's time to go because i was coming home every day crying and just I had enough and it was literally the it was hard because Martha and I struggled super hard financially <gasps> uh, and then I just before I fell pregnant literally just before I worked with my mum in a party shop in so Marrickville so it was quite far from where I live and then I worked there throughout my pregnancy <laughs> and then I worked there a little bit after Zendaya was born uh, and I used to take her in but then it got to a point where oh, she just wouldn't be calm and I just couldn't do it anymore so uh, but at the moment I'm not looking to go back to work we're actually trying for another baby uh, so there's really no point in me to go back to work and my dream holiday destination is I've got two places I think one would definitely be New York. I have always been obsessed with New York and I used to have like New York canvases in my room. I'm like, that is goals. But it's super hard to, uh, I would love to travel, but in life we've got this little girl. So traveling becomes, becomes more family holidays. So we always just go to Queensland and my other destination would definitely be Hawaii. I would love to go to Hawaii. I would really love to take her to Tonga because she has Tongan family there and Mus is half Tongan and his dad's side isn't there. And I would love for her shh, shh. I would love for her to embrace that Tongan culture because it's special. And Jessica asks, what would you like to achieve in the next year? So we're literally in September. So we're very close to 2019. And you'll be three. Oh my God. So I honestly do have a few goals for next year. From one border to the end. One of them, she's literally, don't touch. She's looking at herself in the mirror. One of them is to conceive another child. I would love to bring another baby into our family. I feel like we're missing something and I would love. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cheeky. <laughs> ah. Do you want a brother or sister? <laughs> Dad's trained her to answer sister. Because daddy wants all girls, doesn't he? Daddy wants all girls. I would love to give her a sibling. That is like gold. She is a little mummy. If you ask people that really know her, she is definitely a mum. She loves babies. She will gently touch. She's never been rough. She gently touches them, cuddles. She's so affectionate towards, towards babies. So that's one goal. 
Um, the second goal is I would love to do a big family holiday at the end of the next year. We would I was thinking uh, maybe Hawaii or go to New Zealand and then hopefully while we're over in New Zealand we can fly over to fly over to Tonga. But that is something in the works because if we do have a baby it could possibly be I be heavily pregnant at the end of the year or have a close to a newborn so it really depends on that and another thing i would really really like to do is save up for a boob job i have been wanting a boob job for about five years now and i actually was going to get it four years ago i was starting to save up for it but i met musty and then just life got hectic and then i got pregnant so since i've had Zendaya, my boobs are literally my nipples are Meow. pointing to the floor, Meow. and they're just so saggy and breastfeeding. And I generally have saggy boobs, like, and I have a massive gap. I just want perky tatas to sit up, and I can wear things and not have like fit five fingers between my boobs, like, it's just. It's a big insecurity of mine, and it's something that I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it either if I don't fall pregnant by the end of this year, I might look into it at early next year, or do it after the second baby. And then I received a message on Instagram with some questions for toddler toys or activities. So... I'm going to be honest, I really suck at activities because a baby. Zendaya is like me and gets overdoing things very quick. We can do painting and she's done in five minutes. Like she's over it. So we tend to go to the park. Park. She also asks top three must have beauty supplies. So I'm not really a beauty person. Like it interests me. I go through phases where I'm like, yes no can't be bothered so one would be a really good moisturizer i mean actually it. found one which I i'm going to put it. in my next I favorite mean video it. a really good lip balm and mascara that's it favorite family dinner recipes so something that i love but i don't make as much because you know if you make it too much it goes gross and you just get over it is the Healthy Mummy Mexican Lasagna. It is delicious. Just Google it. The recipe's there. It's free. It's a free recipe. So definitely try it and let me know how you go because it is delicious. So she also asked um, Zendaya's personality in three words. Funniest thing Zendaya does. And she also asked Dream Holiday, which I've already answered. So I think you are very sassy. You sassy? Yes. <laughs> She's very independent. Yes. Yes. You want to do everything yourself? Yes. 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 And I think she just she's funny. She is literally funny. You funny, eh? Yes. 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 So the funniest thing Zendaya has done recently, and it's like literally parent fail, but she says a very naughty word out loud in public some days. And it starts with F and ends with K. Mm. And that is literally my fault and Muscle's fault because, you know, sometimes when you swear it just falls out. So that is parent fail. All right, guys, that is our Q&A. Can I ask you a question? Do you love mommy? Yes. Good. Mm. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Say bye. Blinkies. Mwah.